I'm Wayne Aker of DrupalTutor.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a manual cropping option for images that you upload to your Drupal 7 website. So for example um, out of the box with Drupal 7 you have an article content type that allows you to upload images. Um, by default I choose an image and upload it. Uh, I can keep this image. It's automatically resized to a thumbnail. And it's actually automatically resized fairly nicely by default, but there's no cropping option. What if I just wanted to crop in on the face? Um, there's no way I can do that here. I'd have to do it on my computer first before I upload it. So I'm going to show you how you can build a cropping option directly right here into the file widget. Um, to do that, we are going to use the manual crop module. Um, the manual crop module has several dependencies. So it, it requires the libraries module, or the libraries API module. And it requires two additional uh, jQuery libraries um, that you need to install in sites all libraries. So I'm going to walk you through that process. Um, but let's start by, by getting the modules installed. So uh, we install these modules, the normal process. So when I'm doing that through the interface, I usually copy the, the address and install by URL. And we need to get this library's API module as well. And we can enable these. Now, um, it's not going to work yet because we're still missing those jQuery libraries. Um, if we go back to the manual crop page, it lists two jQuery plugins here that we need. Um, I recommend that you don't click on these links. It's a little confusing because uh, the first time I tried it, I, I clicked on this. And the, the, you can download the libraries from these links. Um, but they're not the right versions. There are very specific versions of the plugins that you need. If you follow the link here for the README that's right on the middle of the page, or this is the same file that's, um, if you open up the module directory, if you download the, the files, you can read the text file there, readme.txt. Um, this has direct links in it, direct URLs, to the versions that are known to work with the module. So I recommend that you just come straight here and copy these URLs to download the exact correct versions. All right, so if I download that version and unpack it, um, then, and again, in the, in the README, there's actually some text here about where to put it. So I'm not going to read through this, but you can obviously look at it. It may change in the future. I'll show you now that um, this first library needs to go in Sites All Libraries, jQuery.img, oh, sorry, Sites All Libraries, jQuery Images Loaded, jQuery Images Loaded.js. So if I go back to my finder, um, that folder is here. So what I need to do is just take this, go to Sites, here's my Drupal file, Sites All. I don't have a libraries folder yet, so I'll create it. And then I need to copy this up here into the libraries folder. And now in order to get that file name to match up what it, what it says here, I need to take the, the version number off the end and I need to put jQuery dot at the beginning so that now my path um, to this JavaScript file matches up here with what I have uh, actually on the file system. And then I do the same thing for the second library, for the second plugin. So again, I'll copy that direct link, download the file, and again, I'll unzip it. And it needs to be copied 
into sites all libraries again <clears throat> and let me check the um, again we need to get rid of the version number on the folder this one already has the jQuery at the beginning but let's get rid of the version number at the end <clears throat> and now the paths line up so um, that should be everything we need to do to get it installed um, but the next step is we need to configure it <clears throat> and it gets a little confusing here um, if you just go over to structure content types um, go to your article and manage fields and try to edit this image field you'll see there's a manual crop option but um, this checkbox is actually disabled so you're not able to enable the manual crop um, which that really confused me uh, at first but what you need to do is you have to enable the manual crop <clears throat> on one of your image styles so in Drupal the image styles are the automatically uh, are the presets for automatically resizing images so um, on this this test uh, node or this test article that we did a minute ago um, we have two image styles that show up this one here is called the medium when I'm looking at the teaser this is on the home page okay this is the teaser image it's at the medium image style and if I click through to the full one then I get the large image style and these can be configured under configuration uh, under media image styles and here's where these get configured like what sizes they are all right and you can see that they're that those are the ones that are in effect if you go back under structure content types manage display next to article um, default you can see that it's saying the image is going to be in the large style and if I click here for teaser the image is going to be in the medium style um, so in order for the manual cropping to work I need to enable the cropping um, this, this manual crop option on at least one of the image styles so let's go back to configuration image styles and let's go to the large one and click at it now since this one is built in I'm gonna to have to click override defaults and I'm going to add the manual crop option to this image style uh, you can choose to have a minimum crop size so if you don't want people to make incredibly small images you can choose to um, prevent them or and, and make them uh, keep a certain width and height ratio you can set these options here I'm gonna leave those blank just to give myself full freedom to crop um, but you can make some restrictions if you want and now once this is done so I've added manual crop to the large image style if I go back to structure content types and I manage fields next to article edit the image field and I come down under manual crop now this checkbox is uh, it's possible for me to check it. it's not disabled so if I just turn that on and let's leave everything else alone right now and just just click the enable box and save come back okay it refreshed nothing's changed here let's actually um, let's go edit this um, there is now a crop button here so if I click the crop button it'll open up this overlay where I can select like a particular area that I want to include so let's do some things here um, we'll cut out his crown and we'll keep in his bow tie all right and there's actually like a small preview window up here it's a little hard to see because it kind of goes under the admin bar but so if I select this area and then choose save down here notice that the thumbnail updates and it's got the, the crown's been cut out right down to the bow tie so that that is our cropped image and if I save this here's our cropped image all right simple if I go back to the home page notice that this image does not have our cropped image it's not our cropped version of the image um, I can still see the crown um, in this image and it's a bit wider right I mean this one this one cuts off the side of his face this one you can see more 
Um, and the reason for that is I didn't set up the manual crop on the medium image style, which is what's being used on the teaser. So if I wanted that crop to work here, or if I wanted to be able to crop this as well, I could go back under uh, configuration, image styles, go under medium, uh, again, override the default since this is a built-in one, and select manual crop. There's, a, there's actually a couple options here, but let's start off, let's select manual crop and see how that works. Again, I'm not gonna put any restrictions on it. All right, now that refreshed, uh, it still hasn't updated, okay? So, but if I go in here and edit, okay, notice that the crop button has been replaced by this drop down, And so you can see it says large one has been cropped already and the, or in the medium, it has not been cropped. It doesn't have that distinction next to it. So I can select medium and then I can choose to crop the medium. And it doesn't have to be the same as the, the large. So let's say for the medium that I want to crop differently, like right just on his eyeballs. Uh, I can choose that, All right? And now I have the medium style cropped just here. And if I select the large style, I can adjust the large one however I want. And so if we save that, um, again, the large looks like it did before. I think I'm going to drag it a little bit. And if I go back to the home page and look at the teaser, here's the medium, and you can see that it's cropped right down just, um, just to his eyeballs there. There's, uh, so you can actually, so uh, you can have multiple crops or sort of multiple sizes of the image, um, multiple different crops depending on how that, those sizes are going to be used. So um, imagine if you're doing like profile photos or something, you know, when they're used in a very small format, maybe you want it just on the face versus like a larger format might show more of the background. You can do that with this uh, manual crop image by selecting different crops for each image style. There's a few other options I want to show you. So back under structure content types. Again, edit this image field. Um, inline cropping, if I turn this on, this will, if I now go here to like crop this medium, this will actually pop it up in a smaller window below. So instead of, you know, making that full size uh, overlay. So again, you can adjust it the same and you can, you can adjust more than one. So you can go to the large and do it as well. It all works the same as before, just um, without the overlay pop-up. Um, if you are gonna be editing image, multiple image styles or, or allowing for multiple crops, a nice um, option is to turn on list thumbs and let me show you what this does. If you remember before, we had a single thumbnail um, for the image, just like a standard image widget. If I choose list thumbs, it will actually show me a thumbnail for each of the cropped sizes um, that have been created, or it will even work with new ones. Like if I, if I create it, so you can see I can have medium and large here, and you can click them, and then um, because I have inline, it pops up below, or it would pop up the overlay. If you didn't have that option, but you can you can click each one here and sort of move between them. You can also, uh, if you make a new new one, um, you'll have you'll see that it'll it'll default to to creating a, an uncropped version for medium and large. And so, so then you can come in and say, okay, well, for medium, you know, let's zoom just in on his face. And then for the large, I mean, you can, you can really do anything. You can, you can even like sort of pull it down and have it be a completely different orientation. All right. If we save that, Again, you'll see in the large format, we have this portrait orientation. 
if I go back to the home page, I have the other orientation for the medium size. Uh, the last thing is, um, what if you what if you want to allow multiple image uh, styles? Okay, you want to have both the medium and the large, but you don't want to have to crop it twice. Because if you wanted to have the exact same crop with the way I have it configured now, you'd actually have to crop twice. The exact same way both times, but you have to do it two times. What if you just want to do it one time and have it work on both? Um, you can do that as well. Uh, the key thing to do is under configuration image styles, um, let's say that the large format is going to be our main format and we want the medium format to follow whatever the crop on the large is then we can go back here to the medium uh, image style edit it uh, we'll remove the manual crop option so we'll click delete and then we'll add um, reuse a manual crop selection And then it's going to ask us which manual crops. It's going to ask us which of the other image styles do we want to import from. Uh, large is what we want. And now it should reuse whatever crop is used for large automatically on the medium. So if I close this, um, this will refresh. And now you can see that the medium style is using that portrait crop that I made for the large style. And so now it's consistent between the two. And if I go back here and edit this, uh, there's only one option, okay, because the medium style is going to automatically inherit. So if you're going to do that, probably you wouldn't want the, because it's a little bit confusing about have the, the different thumbnails if you're just going to have one style. So you might go back and turn that um, thumbs list thumbs uh, off if you were going to inherit like this. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can see it's pretty easy and uh, gives you a lot of flexibility to crop your images. Um, this manual crop module works with other modules that you might use um, on your file fields and image fields. So if you're using like uh, file field sources um, to kind of and PL upload to bulk upload, you know, 20 images at once. Um, this will be this is completely compatible with that so you could upload all those images and then go through and crop them one at a time however you wanted um, so you can make a pretty powerful um, image gallery or uh, image posting system so that is how to set up manual crops of your image fields on Drupal 7